Vitaiovas and welcome everyone. Welcome to our MPs, welcome to our friends from the Ukrainian Embassy, and welcome to our board members, and welcome to each and every one of you for joining us here today. My name's Gillian Barker. I'm the Director of Learning and Participation here at the Royal Opera House. When the war started in the Ukraine, we paused and asked ourselves, what could we do? How can a national and international cultural institution support a community devastated by conflict? So we put a call out for 50 singers to come and sing with our Royal Opera House chorus. 450 applied, and that was when Songs for Ukraine was born. We first performed here in this wonderful place in March with the Royal Opera House Chorus. Since then, we've performed together, we've danced together, we've picnicked together, we met their majesties, the king and queen, we've recorded CNN's New Year's Eve uh, broadcast, which you'll all listen out for on New Year's Eve, and the phrase or catchphrase, world tour, has become our motto. So, last weekend, our world tour actually started in Bradford. We sang in Bradford Cathedral to launch the Royal Opera House's three-year creative intervention as part of Bradford City of Culture 2025. And today, we're back in the Paul Hamlin Hall to sing for you to sing in a celebration of 1,000 years of Ukrainian Christmas culture. Today is being filmed, so I'd like to request that we don't use cameras today, um, and the film is actually going to be broadcast in Ukraine. I'd like to thank all the creative production and comms teams for making today happen. But most of all, I'd like to thank our wonderful Songs for Ukraine Chorus. Today, we built a strong sense of belonging, and I think singing together, we've shown how that can inspire hope. So, I would now like to welcome the conductor's Royal Opera House Chorus conductor, William Spaulding, Danny Parashak, and pianist, our oh, pianist, Barak Dyer, and from me, I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas.
You've just heard how the universe sounded before the creation of the world. The ancient spirit of the Ukrainian people. The soloists in this piece were Olga Terletska and Tatiana Makovei. The next three carols are pre-Christian. The first song is called Epichan Vox. Vox. Epichan is a term for a female peacock and I would like to say that images of birds appear very often in Ukrainian carols. In my opinion, it is because birds are delightful creatures and birds always find their way and reach their destination no matter where they fly. She walks like a pigeon, they say about a girl who moves smoothly and has an elegant, stately gait. You will hear it in the slow, noble flow of sounds. The soloist of this piece is Solomia Havrilova. The next carol is called The Crown Prince Asked. In this carol, Daria Maskaluk will sing the solo. The text speaks of human happiness of us, in, on earth. It hopes for health, food, wine, friendly and educated children who get married successfully. Unfortunately, at this time in Ukraine and other places affected by war, there is everyday pleasures are harder to come by and therefore important now more than ever. The final song of section is the gray Cuckoo. Since I was a child, I always saw colors when listening music. In this piece, I hear the bright yellow gold light of the sun and the transparent blue color of the sky. Perhaps because it, in this song, the cuckoo flies around gardens and grants happy wishes. The final words of this carol are wishing you good health and prosperity for all time. That is what our choir wishes to all of you.
carols in the carols in this section represent the theme of wonder and joy and reflect the solemnity of the birth of Jesus Christ, both in its music and its words, lifting your soul to the highest possible level. There is a carol in this part known by all Ukrainians and in my opinion reflects the solemnity and wonder of wonder and joy more than any other. Nova Radis Stala, a new joy in English. Arina Koroletska will sing solo in this piece. When we sing it for the first time, uh, it was a source of wonder and amusement as well as joy for our Tom Floyd because we did it perfectly from the very first note. He said, well, I suppose you know this carol. I may be wrong, but this is the very first carol we all are taught by our parents as well as grandparents when we do our first carol singing as children. At least this was my case. My grandmother gave me an immensely powerful introduction to Christmas carols with this one. Actually, my very first memory of carol singing was earning money and treats from our neighbors in exchange for singing. This was my first salary. It was around one pound, but for a child, it was a nightmare to know how to spend it. And I chose to have a ride on a little pony in the center square of Kyiv. Two of the other carols, you will hear a wondrous birth and immaculate virgin I have never heard before. However, clear, clear stars covered the sky is one of my favorites. The soloists in Immaculate Virgin are Olga Terletska and Oleksii Zasyatko. In Clear Stars Covered the Sky, the solos are sung by Daria Maskaluk and Olga Terletska. My hopes are that our audience will feel wonder and joy in a very Ukrainian way by hearing these carols.
The next section contains songs which all speak of the themes of sorrow and comfort. The first song, The Grey Cuckoo, describes the maiden's lament of loss and woe. It is arranged by renowned Ukrainian composer Mykola Leontovich, who was also a folk song collector and ethnomusicologist. In Ukrainian folklore, the cuckoo is also a symbol of a mother's loss of her child. It is particularly emotional that this lyrical song is arranged for female a cappella choir with it being the story of a mother's loss. To me, this song reflects the sadness of leaving one's native homeland, something I experienced myself when I had to leave Ukraine 16 years ago to come to the UK. When I left Ukraine, I had to leave my own children behind, and we were not reunited until five years later. The next song, Do Not Be Preachal, also speaks to the pain of losing children, recounting the death of the children of Bethlehem under Herod. The soloist in this piece is Oleksii Zasadko, who sings a lyrical, mournful melody representing Rachel's weeping, which contrasts with the chorus's chanting, which represents the tyranny of Herod. Today, this ancient, mournful carol resonates with our set modern times. Rachel, having lost her children, cries, but later find comfort and hope in the words. Don't cry. Children are now in a new shrine. Having given their lives for God the Son, they are gone, but their souls remain. Right now, in Ukraine, thousands of mothers are losing their children and are crying. So with this carol, we want to comfort them, give them hope. Don't cry. Your children are now in a new shrine. Having given their lives for the liberty, destiny of Ukraine and Ukrainians, they are gone, but their souls are remain and are living in the hearts of millions of Ukrainians. After this comes Silent Night. No Christmas is complete without singing this tender and soulful song. We will sing it in three languages. The original German, Stille Nacht, Ukrainian, Tichanit, and English, Silent Night. Finally, we come to A Holy Night, which will be sung by the Royal Opera House chorus members who have joined our choir for this performance. We are looking forward to hearing their beautiful music, and it is a real pleasure to sing with them. So let the festive music of Christmas, a blessed melody of peace, joy, love, goodness, kindness, resound throughout the world. May peaceful and happy life come to every human heart, every family, every country. Merry Christmas.
Oh, 
Good evening, everyone. In the next section, all the songs reflect the sound of bells, either to their words or their music. The first two songs you will hear are called Jerusalem Bells and Two Falcons Flew By, the solos by Alexis Asiatiko and Daria Moskaluk. Centuries ago, well-wishing tunes were sung in many Ukrainian villages on January 13th, usually by adolescent girls going house to house in celebration of the new year. As the girls sang the tune predicting good fortune, they were rewarded with baked goods or other treats. The ancient tradition is called Shedrivka and comes from the Ukrainian word Shedri, which means bountiful. This tradition still exists today and was my favorite part of Christmas as a girl. When I was a child, my sister and I would prepare and learn Ukrainian carols in advance. In a day of Shedrivka, we would dress very warmly as Ukraine has snowy and cold winter, take bags for rewards, and just go through the village houses. We asked, can we come in and go caroling? One of the songs was sung called Shedrik. The song tells the tale of a swallow flying into a household to proclaim the plentiful year that the family will have. The swallow calling out to the master of the home and telling him about all the wealth that he will possess. Healthy livestock, money, and a beautiful, and a beautiful wife. We didn't realize at the time that it was one of the world's most famous songs, also known as the Carol of the Bells. The folk song was arranged by Ukrainian composer Mykola Lantovich in 1816 and became famous for its political mission. Ukraine was at risk of being occupied by the Soviet Union, and in the eve of the occupation, the head of Ukrainian army decided to use Shchedrik as a part of cultural diplomacy. He sent a choir with this song to Europe with an important mission to prove Ukrainian identity and gain support from influential countries around the world. The Ukrainian swallow flew through the best concert halls in Europe, reaching all the way to the New York. We got new lyrics in English and became famous. This is the final song in the section, solos by Daria Moskaluk, Arina Koroletska, and Olyha Terletska. Now, the Ukrainian swallow flies around the world and he's bringing joy to every family for over a hundred years. We hope it will, you it will bring you joy as well. Thank you.
Christmas is my very favorite holiday of the year. And trust me, it's not just because of the presents. Since childhood, it's been a pure magic when my entire family gathers together and sings together. My grand granny taught me our unique carols, treasured and passed down through generation. And since then, these melodies act like a real time machine for me, bring me instant feeling of home and family whenever I am. They bring me this overwhelming sense of joy, security, and hope. Christmas is a very special time indeed. It gathers countless people worldwide for its celebration through singing. Our conductor, Sir William, once said, singing together means you are breathing together. So can you imagine when we sing about the birth of light and hope, our collective breath creates such a resonance that can literally warm us even in winter still and illuminate the past even in the darkest hours. As we approach the final chapter of our concert, we'd like to finish on a remarkable note with a very special song. Over two centuries, this Scottish poem has been a powerful symbol of gratitude. Think New Year's Eve and the clock, the clock strikes midnight. It's a moment when we look back at the year to express our thank you to everyone who means the world to us. Today, the old Lang Syne will sound in this beautiful hall to show our massive appreciation to each and every one of you. This version of it was arranged by our so much talented and loved Tom Floyd. Please, let's give him a great round of applause. Before we start singing, I'd like to say thank you for sharing this very special time with us, for your support and your genuine interest in Ukrainian culture. It's a true honor and privilege to share this significant part of our heritage with all of you. And of course, heartfelt and endless gratitude to our brilliant conductors, William Spaulding and Danny Parashak. Another thank you to a brilliant team of the project and the chorus of Royal Opera House for making this cultural exchange possible. May this concert fill your heart with joy that you can spread to others. We wish you happy, warm, cozy, and very peaceful Christmas 
and New Year holidays. Thank you.